This, the presentations are I'm presenting tomorrow night, Saturday, is by Russell Blake. He, he did a patent called Fractals, and uh, he was a student of Vortex Based Mathematics. Um, and uh, I have tremendous respect for him. And I never patent or copyright my work, and he found a use and a potential commercial application of it of technological uh, importance. And um, for I believe artificial intelligence. I believe that this discovery perfects artificial intelligence. So um, I will be presenting that document. I, I will also be presenting work done with me and Farron Thorpe, uh, Professor Thorpe. And um, that's uh, how all prime numbers create base counting systems that are seamless, and um, starting with the prime number three and upwards. So um, it's very profound. The next prime number after base 10, which is the first three, first prime number three squared, is base 26, which is mod five, uh, mod 25, from the next prime after three, which is five squared. Five times five is 25. And that makes a torus that has no aberrations on all axes. It's seamless. The only difference is it's made out of two bifilier conductors. So it's, it's, it's two pair instead of, or four conductors versus base 10 is just two conductors or one pair. Uh, the gap space in the center, instead of being 396, becomes something like 5, 20, 15, 25. Anyway, the point, I'll have the numbers, I'll have the visuals, I'll try and show that. And um, the significance is, is that that flux field gap space, the 396, 693, or the 5, you leave it alone. You don't put anything there. And the conductor is the current flows in the opposite direction. I believe it's PDC, uh, but they've used many types of currents. They've done a series eightings. My ultimate goal is to do the conductors where there's no, no input and no output, where it's um, a closed system, a closed circuit. But I believe there's multiple circuits, uh, two, four, next base system is base 50, mod 49, which is seven squares. And uh, there's four conductors for that. Again, just four pair. There's just um, one gap space. So um, I'm trying to show people that a lot of times they think to make a rodent coil bigger is better, and that's not the case. It's knowing how to wind it, to know how, where to put the pairs, or how many pairs. And then to layer it, potentially with these greater pairs. I mean, there's a lot of that needs to be done. If I had a lab, I would be doing it. Right now, I'm looking for a base of operations. I don't have a, a, anything at this point. I couldn't keep up with my expenses. Yeah. So yeah. I'm essentially, I'm starting from zero again in my life. Just got back from Kauai. Right now, we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico for the Tesla test. And that's about it. So what questions do you have? Well, I, I guess um, with the artificial intelligence research, then that would not that would entirely be mathematically based, right? Just software? Software and hardware. So and what? Because this is a math for, hard, for everything. For the hardware as well. In fact, you can even make a solid state. Um, this is not only the, the processor, but it's actually the language. Um, when, when you're done, when we're done being interviewed, I'll be glad to uh, email you a document. You can include it in the interview. Yeah, yeah. And um, as well as the talk that I'm giving tomorrow night, showing the math, showing the architecture. This this started from understanding the name of God, right? I'm a Baha'i from the Baha'i faith. And um, in the Baha'i faith, we have what's referred to as the most great name of God. And I decrypted that. And because the Baha'i scriptures are in Arabic and Farsi, which is Persian, uh, they use abjad numerical notation system. Every letter has a numeric alphabetic correspondence. So I, I took the name of God, which is Baha, which means glory. And that's the, where the name of the religion comes from. That's the name of the prophet. And then the prophet states that there's 360 variations of, um, of the most great name of God. So, because in Arabic, you can move the syllables along, around. Mysticism is essentially linguistics, phonetics. And in Arabic, um, you can move the syllables around, you change the meaning. The superlative case is abha, which means wondrous or splendor. And so, um, Baha is made of compression, decompression, the B and H. And so I, I, I use this math to study on how to say the name of God. And in mysticism, you have the Aleph, which is the saying is the Aleph is the seed of the Hamza, the 
is referred to as red or ruby, ruby or crimson in the Snow White path because the Hamza is said but silent. And um, so I found that the ultimate machine is a human temple, not some peripheral external device, and that our brain is a coil and it can transmit and receive for communion or worship of God. So mm. that's why I studied on the most great name of God. But since it's also the basis of all creation, in the scriptures it talks how uh, the name of God is the source of, of the physical world we live in. You know, and I was able to reverse engineer creation. And I was able to apply the name of God to electrical engineering, physics, cosmology, just that. Well, now, how did you arrive at, at the coil from, because I understand that when you laid it out, it formed a pattern. But what, what took you from the pattern to the, to the, the rodent coil? It took 23 years. I had the, this symbol, this icon, which I call the, ma the mathematical fingerprint of God. It's like a VW symbol. I had that when I was 17. 23 years later, I put together, I felt the time was right. I had a lot of graphics of that symbol. I went to a photo um, graphic design studio and I put together a team. Uh, it was Skeeter, who was a machinist extraordinaire, uh, Scott Gossler, who's a master mechanical engineer, and Tom Dawson, who is a uh, computer science, laser optics. He kind of switches paths, he can do anything. And I said to Scott, I said, make this device. I said, all I have is a schematic. It came from the name of God out of the Baha'i Faith Scriptures. And they did it. It took uh, a month or two. It was very hard work. Everybody was on the edge of the abyss. It was so hard. But um, Tom coached Scott to try to help him understand. Scott put all the effort he had into it. And he discovered that this symbol is a coil. That it's that the funny that the VW the Mobius is a coil and the 396 is the flux field. Nine is the flux. Three and six is the magnetic field. The Mobius is the 12475. So the, it was a breakthrough discovery because today we think that the base 10 system is just one system, one zero through nine. Turns out the base 10 system is two separate systems helically woven together. That 396 is um, a completely different dimension and world. Mm. And the 124875 is a whole different, it's the third dimension, it's a pathway that any continuous medium, whether it's electricity, air, water, or solar system, all things as they accelerate, the faster they, they go, the more closer they align and follow this doubling circuit, which is a geometry. So I was able to combine, eventually Scott wanted to prove it to himself that this discovery was real. He didn't like how I did it because he's an engineer. He does things through experimentation or analysis. He said, I did it through synthesis. I started with the name of God. I started with the answer and then applied it to the question. But he says he has to do things through experimentation. So sure enough, he, he made a huge discovery. He discovered that my funny VW symbol, the X in the center, the zero matches all for, over the toroid hole. We, at that time, we called it a sunflower toroid map, but it's really a torus or toroid, spelled T-O-R-O-I-D, which is an advanced term for a donut. The saying is the secret of the donut is the hole, and that donuts are the ultimate shape for energy to sustain and maintain itself through breathing or respirating heat. It's a thermal system. So, um, so what happened is, is that um, I discovered the secret using arithmetic, combining surface topology, and combining um, geometry and all these branches of math. Russell Blake contributed the matrix algebra. I was able to model perfectly. I was able to combine all the math together and able to model the source of, of hot fusion, the, the secret of mirror symmetry coils for the use of what is called toroidal pinch. Because toroidal pinch, if you can perfect it, you can create a hot spot it's called the primal point of unity in the center of the toroid. And from that, you get an emanation, which I refer to as spirit, prana, or chi, tachyon, monopole, dark energy, whatever you want to call it. It's a missing energy in the universe. It's a super particle above the known elements. It's the source of the non-decaying spin of the electron. It's the source of all motion and vibration. And I was able to harness that in the form of this coil, which, which is vortex-based mathematics, which is the rodent coil. And how I harness it, if you study the math, if you master it, which very few people have done, then you understand that every number is a standing wave, that numbers are stationary vector interstices, and that all the numbers on the toroid map, essentially I pieced every function, every known equation. I found that numbers were not alone, that they were not isolated, that they were actually a jigsaw puzzle that made the cosmic shape of the, of, they were the fragments of an egg that had been thrown, thrown throughout the universe and blown away 
that I reunited into the shape of the universe. And everything's a toroid. This universe is the shape of a toroid. Our bo body's called the human torso. Our red blood cells are dimpled hockey pucks, toroidal in shape. Um, a tornado, a hurricane, all mediums, water going down the drain. Take the shape, toroidal shape. But this math, vortex-based mathematics, allows you to see not only the main mother vortex, the main compression, decompression, but you also see over the surface topology underpinning nested vortices. And these are staggered. And through these underpending nested vortices, you can control this for space power propulsion to go anywhere in the universe. You can navigate it. The toroid is actually a nozzle and you can actually use it as a propulsion system. Mm. And so, and you, not, and you control it through these underpinning nested vortices. There's a lot to say.